right. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Alan Thornton, and I am the founder and CEO of Grant Source, where we help you find money for your mission with our revolutionary grant funding system. And I started Grant Source because I got burned. I started a community service organization back in college, and we wanted to expand this all over the nation. And unfortunately, we paid a grant writer. They ended up stealing our money, and it drove us to action. So it's a problem that millions of nonprofits and, and impactful businesses have. There's really three things that stop people from successfully getting grants and result in misfunding opportunities. Number one is time. The time it takes to scour hundreds and thousands of different websites. Number two is tools. Then you have to have the right tools to find the grants that you qualify for. And then the analytics software to find grants that you have a high probability to get is expensive and last is the talent. Grant writers are like lawyers and doctors. They all have different specialties, whether you're going after government grants, foundation grants, corporation grants, at different levels, federal, city, county, state, you want to have the right grant writer for the project that you're going after. And then there's these macro trends, right? Whether it be hurricanes, forest fires, what we're dealing with right now with the COVID uh, and the coronavirus pandemic. These are all events that happen that create economic, uh, economic trends that really boost things up, right? Like the CARES Act, right? Everybody here, we finally found our food. We finally found our toilet paper, but we still don't know how we're gonna get the grant money from this CARES Act. And that's a challenge until now. So Grant Source has the solution. And I feel like this is our 15 minutes of fame because we've been building this software in order for this moment right now. Just the going after grants in, for coronavirus, finding and facilitating that money is a $40 billion market. So with our platform, we eliminate the three things that I talked to you about, the time, the tools, and the talent. No longer do you have to go through hundreds and thousands of different websites. With our DAP system, it stands for Databases, Analytics, Alignment, Personnel, and a System License as a Service. We have over 1,500 specialized grant writers in the U.S. and Canada that will actually write the proposals for you, and they'll do it for one flat fee in a subscription, 100% risk-free with investment protection so you don't have to risk losing money like I did when I started the organization. Our revenue model is very simple. It's a 12 month subscription. You, We help organizations go after anywhere from $50,000 to about a million dollars. And the investment is about $500 to $5,000 a month. So a customer to a customer, it's about a 10 to 15 X ROI, but it's risk-free with uh, investment protection. And all of this has created an unfair competitive advantage. There's grant writers out there, there's databases out there, but there's nothing that has everything where you can find, write, track, and manage grants all integrated in one tech platform with investment protection. I have a team in place of superstars, right? Doctors, lawyers, ex-CEOs, and nonprofit executives that can deliver and execute because they've been in this space We've captured over 200K in revenue in the last 26 months and helped people find and secure. This number has gone up uh, just under $10 million and had specific successes in different areas. We'll talk about SBIRs. Right now, we're writing $5 million for capital factory portfolio companies this month. With this 100K grand prize, we'll be able to increase that to about $100 million in the next six to eight months for coronavirus grants. We'll be able to automate our onboarding process and move cost centers all across the country with strategic partners like grants with MD Box, right? And coronavirus cost centers. So if you give us this money, we're going to accomplish these specific milestones and we're going to help more people get money for their mission. Thanks, Alan. Um, <laughs> First, first question. I've I've got a question myself. You mentioned this is a right now this opportunity with COVID is a forty billion dollar market. You also mentioned there's a about fifteen hundred grant writers on the platform. How do you find and source uh, your grant writers? And what's the total market of grant writers, uh, qualified grant writers that exist across the United States and Canada? Um, and then can you break down where does the $40 billion market really come from, the market size? Help us understand that the kind of the total available market here. 
Yeah, absolutely. So to to get to your first question, when it comes to the grant writers, all of our grant writers have over they're in a major grant writing association. So we've evolved. We started as just a database and people wanted us to also write grants. So we said, I went to the top grant writing associations, AFP, GPA. And I said, look, I will bring you volume. All I need to do is let's make this system more efficient together. I'll put you on retainer. And the top three signed up with me. And now we have this, this excellent network of qualified grant writers um, in different areas and different specialties, right? Because you don't want like a foot doctor working on your eyes. Same thing with, with grants um, in all different areas. When you talk about the market tax, and answer your second question, how big is this market? Everybody knows the CARES Act. It was $2.2 trillion that was um, passed out. Now, $430 billion of that is for small businesses, nonprofits, and for like city and counties to facilitate giving that money to these agencies. Right. So if we just take that number and with our model, what we do, it's about a 40 billion dollar market. Right. That we can we can capture. We have partnerships like with MD Box. We're going to go all across the country creating these cost centers. Not only do we work and have create impact for coronavirus outreach, which is where a lot of the dollars are. We're also work, working with the cities and counties uh, to facilitate their money as well. And our platform does everything. All right. It looks like we've got one or two more questions. Uh, Preston, it looks like you've got a question. Yeah, uh, it's kind of a two-part um, question. Sure. Um, from your perspective, um, what is the ramp-up time um, for your, your for the grant source to sort of take hold and really get from, okay, we're starting to work with an organization into, until... Um, get you know maybe their their first grant and the reason why i'm asking is some of the small nonprofits don't have you know business development people or grant writers or whatever so i would imagine it would take some time for you know the grant source team to really understand that you know that particular nonprofits initiatives and then match it up and then get out there and start writing them what, what do you say you see is the average time so that's kind of like question number one and then question number two is, you know, is grant source, um, you're outsourcing, you're not, are you offering outsourcing of their business development per se, or are you just saying, hey, we'll, we'll just be sort of your, your grant, um, uh, your, your grant uh, um, securing, um, you know, arm for your organization? Yeah, so great, great two-part question. Number one, time to ramp up. Uh, initially, we were trying to be everything to everybody, and we had to get away from that. So we started working with organizations that had a little bit more revenue, where people were had some personnel in place, so we can get out that first project. So our operations team, once once somebody comes on, we have a template and an onboarding process to really speed up that process and get out that first project in less than 27 days. 27 days uh, for a foundational corporation grant. Obviously, when we're talking about like SBR grants, it's a little faster. Although this this month uh, with the AFWorks grant, we're getting uh, a full 15 to 20 page proposals out in less than 30 days. So, and we, we're out of, that's part of why we need this money is we're, we want to ramp up our operations team and also automate that in some application development because we already done we've already done it. It just needs to be in one place. Um, your other question, um, businesses that break down, that's an excellent question. So in what we do with cost centers, like we're, what we're doing with MD Box, uh, we are, we don't necessarily, we're not doing their business development, but we're helping with, with marketing. One of the things that we have a 90% success ratio is, uh, is getting these marketing grants. And these marketing grants are from Google, and we will help them build their nonprofit website, start their nonprofit, and do their social do their social impact uh, program so that they can get this grant and then they get ten thousand dollars every single month to market their, their business. It's phenomenal. Got it. Thank you. Awesome. Absolutely. Thank yeah. you. All right. Looks looks like we've got time for one more question. It looks like Joe, um, do you have a question as well? Yes, Alan. Uh, one quick question for you. So for the grant writers that work with your platform, obviously grant writers have relationships in whatever cities or whatever nonprofits they've written for in the past. 
What's their incentive to try to bring those foundations onto your platform, those existing relationships they already have? Uh, so usually for those, there two parts. One, the short answer is there usually is none. I'm bringing them new business that they wouldn't have got before in that area. And two, they may only be working with a certain type of kind of like a, a lawyer or doctor, right? A lawyer doesn't write, do all the law business. If he's a civil attorney, he'll farm out or give a referral to a to a, um, a criminal attorney, right? So they may be very good at foundation grants, but I may bring them some clients or they may have clients that also want to do SBIR grants and they can do them both in one platform. I won't mess with their existing client. I'll just enhance the revenue that they're not getting because that's not their specialty. Got it. Thank you.